Now let's talk about how you can get this piece from an authorized dealer. I will tell you four possible ways and no other ways. brothers and sisters so last week in my last video I mentioned I have got a promise to get a brand new Rolex Cosmograph Daytona aka the Panda the Y dial and as I was hoping the watch is with me so let's start with a quick unboxing you see this is the outer paper box Let's remove it. Inner but outer, so a middle paper box. The main difference, by the way, between the older, for example, from two years old Rolex pieces and the latest versions, if we're talking about these middle paper boxes, is the crown. Different hot printed and the crown is bigger and looks a bit different. So let's remove it and inside of course we have got this beautiful green classic Rolex box with the Rolex sign and on the box also got Rolex logo, the crown and the Rolex text. Here is the real inner box, wooden box covered with leather, green classic Rolex green. Let's open it and voila, here we go. This is the watch. So talking about a little bit of how to get, this is funny, I haven't said it 10 past 10, <laughs> but the watch is in 10 past 10, so, and running. So how to get <coughs> data nowadays? As I see, you, if you are an average guy, no matter if you got really tons of money, so lots of money, if you are a simple millionaire, if we can say it, and uh, not really matters from which country all over the world. So if you are an average guy like this and you are a watch lover or just looking for a watch and you are walking into a Rolex authorized dealer, we call them ADs, you won't be able to buy or get this watch, never ever. And this is really not a new story because the Rolex Daytona always was a holy grail, we can say that of the Rolex collection. So the Daytona was always hard to get, but nowadays it's absolutely difficult to get. And the reason is why maybe several things are joined to reach this situation, what we have can experience if we work in a Rolex Autorest dealer nowadays. So the first reason Rolex produce really few numbers of these Daytona models, and not just, but the whole Daytona lines. As I know, if I know it well, Rolex only produced 1000 pieces, around 1000 pieces, and this means all Daytona models, so the two-tone, the yellow gold versions, platinum Daytona, black dial, white dial, you have, there are several pieces with um, 
diamonds and uh, jewelries, so only 1000 pieces and uh, the demand of this watch is, I guess, at least uh, 100 more times or maybe more. So, because the, the watch is not an expensive watch or retail price, so nearly everyone who works good enough and rich, uh, nice uh, veggies, nice money, nice life, could afford this piece. So, lots of people would like to buy this watch, but they just simply cannot, because Rolex cannot produce enough. The reason behind this, so why Rolex don't produce more, is really complex. I don't know if I should talk about that, because this is some kind of uh, marketing, some kind of hive generating, uh, so I, I guess uh, this is okay for Rolex. So they could produce more, of course, but they won't. That's my opinion. So how to get a date on like this? Because this watch, I will show you the card soon, is from an authorized dealer, yes, and from Europe. I won't say, won't tell the country. And the watch is from July, if I remember well. <laughs> we will see the card soon. So the watch is uh, really new, <clears throat> and this is from an authorized dealer, but I haven't, uh, I couldn't, of course I couldn't buy it from an authorized dealer, but I know a guy who knows guys, and that guy knows uh, a middle boss in the actual authorized dealer, so not the owner, uh, but the boss at there, and the boss was able to get, I guess under retail, but for sure on retail, from Rolex or from the the Outrose dealer from the boss, for, from the owner of the Outrose dealer boutique. And of course, that guy who works there flipped the watch. Uh, I couldn't say uh, anything wrong or bad about this because we are talking about lots of money. So these pandas, especially in new and unworn condition from 2021, the price, the second hand grey market price are now nearly three times, so not just double, but three times more than the retail price. Of course, if a guy works, or, or a girl, sorry, so if anyone works at the Rolex outer deal and if he or she is not the owner, of course he or she will flip this watch to earn more money because everyone lives from money, so this is fucking easy. And that's okay, I, at least I can understand. It would be nicer and better if anyone just could walk into a Rolex boutique and buy a Panda, a Rolex Daytona, but if Rolex simply not creating enough, then how could this happen? Even if I would work at, at an Autorose dealer, I would do the same. I, I won't just uh, sit there and uh, sell the watch, okay? So, for example, an Autorose dealer uh, will receive about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20, depends on where is the dealer, which country, which city, of course, bigger city, got more. But, okay, I guess a dealer in one year could get between 10 and maybe 50 pieces from uh, the white on the Daytona. And I am sure at least one person will visit the authorized dealer in, in every day and will ask for this much. But I am sure this is the lowest number. So maybe, maybe that much people ask for this watch in one single day, then uh, how many of it uh, can, be, can be sold in a dealer? So what else they could do? They are picking the they are picking the customers between the customers. This is how it works. I don't say this is cool and I don't support this. I don't like this of course, but I can understand. And I'm sure if I would work there, I would do the same. And now let's talk about how you can get this piece from an authorized dealer. I will tell you four possible ways and no other ways. So as I see, you can buy 
a new Panda Y diode cosmograph Daytona if you are a celebrity, a real well known celebrity, like you got millions of followers on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, you are a movie star, not a new movie star, but a well known so called old movie star like Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone and so on, you can get this watch or these kind of watches from Rolex if you are in this pocket. This is the one solution. The second, if you are connected to the authorized dealer, the concrete authorized dealer from you can buy it in some strong way. So you are in the family, you work there, you know a person very well who worked there. The owner of the exact authorized dealer is your friend, for example. So you have a strong connection to the dealer. You can have this watch on retail in this way. I am sure about this because I have friends who can get it like this. The third way, if you spend tons of money on other pieces, for example, you buy two or three or four precious metal pieces, yellow gold pieces, uh, or maybe rose gold pieces, Rolex or in Rolex way is better because those are not that uh, popular than the yellow gold and of course not that popular than the stainless steel versions. Especially if you buy woman pieces, so watches for women, for your girlfriend, for your wife, for your sister, for your mother, <laughs> or just because you had to get a watch like this on retail, you had to buy woman Rolex watches. Maybe three or four or the same amount of golden pieces. If you spend that money, you will get this uh, stainless steel Daytona. I won't say you will get the, the day after you buy those watches or the next day you see, but maybe in a year or maybe in a shorter period, if you spend that much money on those watches, you can buy it. Because if you buy, uh, for example, a yellow gold submariner, that is possible, not really difficult to have. So if you buy a yellow gold submariner, maybe if you buy... So a yellow gold submariner's retail price is uh, close to the second-hand market price of this data. And if you buy three of that, so you spend three times more money than, or if you would buy this piece on the grey market, then, trust me, you will be able to buy or retail this piece from an authorized dealer, any authorized dealer all over the world. Is it clever? I don't really think so. If you are a collector and you got tons of money and you love golden pieces, precious metal, white gold, yellow gold, pink gold, lots of options, and they are great. And yes, you can buy two tone pieces, but if you go for two tone pieces, uh, two or three or four won't be enough. So you have to buy at least six or seven or more and during one year. That is important. So if you spend three times much money than the grey market price of this exact stainless steel data, no? then in one year I guarantee you, you will be able to buy it from the Rolex. Is it a great business and deal for Rolex authorized dealer? <laughs> sure. Is it great for Rolex, the company, the factory, the watch brand? <laughs> of course, that is the best because Rolex, and this is the reason why they're not producing enough of enough, so enough for us who would like to have and cannot on retail prices. So the reason because Rolex want to sell more precious metal pieces because Rolex has got much more profit on precious metal pieces, three or four or maybe five times more because anyway you know the fine ceramic pieces like the bezel it has is difficult to create lots of um, 
bad uh, production will will uh, be produced when a perfect one is reached especially with the colored versions also the movement of this watch is the same like a uh, yellow gold uh, Daytona has got so you see Rolex put lots of money for inventing uh, lots of money for uh, always upgrading uh, the whole system not just the movement but uh, the whole system how to create and manage a watch brand and if you sell or retail this piece for example they can have 70 hundred p uh, uh, percent of the retail price uh, okay let's start again because the retail price you spend if you are lucky on this watch at an outro zero only the half of the price goes to Rolex company the other half so the 50 percent of the money you spend stay at the outer dealer yes that is the profit of the outer dealer at least 50 percent the other 50 percent goes to Rolex and if we put everything together about 70 or 80 percent of the 50 percent of the retail price is the profit of the Rolex company that is also very good on one single watches but easy to count and easy to understand why they would like to sell golden pieces because the retail price of the golden pieces is already three times more than a stainless steel so you see this is the reason this is the main reason why Rolex not produce, producing enough stainless steel models because they are producing lots of okay the Daytona is some kind of holy grail in the Rolex catalog but this is the way so the third way if you spend tons of money three or four times more then you would buy this on the gray market from second hand market and then you will be able to get this watch so <laughs> they will let you spend another not small amount of money to get this piece this is how it works if I remember well the fourth is coming the fourth way is uh, some kind of mixture of this skip the celebrity but here comes the gray market dealers the second hand market dealers or just the used watch dealers we can say that so they know someone at the Rolex 80s they have connections they give back money to the Rolex sellers at the authorized dealer so they have connections they gave back money and maybe they have already spent lots of money on buying uh, precious metal so gold and platinum and so on pieces in the past maybe they build up the connection with the authorized dealer in this way they have spent money during years lots of money to buy gold and pieces of course they earned money or debt because uh, even if you look the used market at this at this this holy moment the used prices of the golden pieces of Rolexes skip the fucking yellow gold data with the green dial because that is really a madness that watch is not worth that money that much money on what price you see that watch on for example chrono 24 <laughs> that is crazy and all the shit is because they believe some people believe also I believed Rolex will discontinue that green diode yellow gold Daytona and yes maybe next year it will happen but it hasn't happened yet but the gray market dealers the second hand dealers started in last year and in in spring in from January in this year started to buy all the possible green diode yellow gold Daytona models from everyone from the market and used and they started to pump up the price and now nobody would like to buy that watch on that crazy doubled retail price or more because 
the watch is not discontinued and definitely before this hype that golden Daytona wasn't that popular at all so in uh, 2018 I was able with a friend to simply just walk into the Hungarian Autorized Deal in Budapest and we could buy that watch on the next day so we walked in they presented the watch for us of course they told us the watch is sold blah 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 you know this is the way we changed numbers and so on after it about an hour we were drinking a coffee in a coffee shop and we got my friend got a message on Viber if you know that message platform and the message told oh dear friend <laughs> the wagon just arrived and there is a golden yellow gold date on a bit grind the green dial on the pack and that could be yours huh come on come in the next day we walked in and bought that watch and that was in 2018 no nowadays <laughs> it's impossible to get and yes rolex not producing too much of that of course as I mentioned before, Rolex not producing too much of the date on the line. And Rolex is not stupid. AD authorized dealers, man, are not stupid too. They are monitoring the second hand and the grey market very, very well. And they are knowing that watch now worth lots of money. Because of the second hand and grey market dealers, because there is very few numbers of end users now on the market. Or maybe this is just my option or uh, my point of view, but this is who I see it. Now, so the first way is the dealer way. They have connections, they've spent lots of money, they gave back money. That's a fact. I cannot prove it. Okay, so don't try to bring me a, be in front of the judge, or <laughs> how to say the courthouse. But this is a fact. Everyone knows who, who knows it. And uh, they can get this watch. And they sell it with high profit. That's all. This is the way. And you can hate it. You can live with it. But if you want to buy this watch, <laughs> you should have. And I have a fifth way how to get this watch, just started to remember. I have a friend, a Hungarian friend, who has uh, entered, you know that, uh, that Instagram account, some kind of lottery, watch gambling, you pay for tickets, for example, 100 euros, 100 pounds, 100 dollars, and uh, they are selling uh, 500 tickets or more, or 700, and uh, they are, uh, I don't know the word. So, just like on a lottery, one lucky guy will win the watch of the week. For example, a date like this. And I have a friend in Hungary, a real guy, and it's not joking, it's not lying. I have a friend who spent 100 joke amount of euros, so this is crazy. And he has just won a panda, an exact panda, a new piece like this. This is mind-blowing. I simply couldn't believe it. I also, also uh, sent my friend to the authorized dealer in Hungary to let the watch check if it is real, not a fake one, if the movement, and do you know, because lots of replica and fake Rolex is out there. And... Uh, <laughs> The watch he won is, is a real brand new Rolex Daytona with Panda Dial. Ah, this is fucking crazy. So, yes, if you are ultimately lucky, because I cannot say better on this, so if you are lucky enough, the fifth way <laughs> is to win this watch. But as a regular guy, even lots of money, you never be able to buy this watch from Outrust dealer on that way if you just walk in ask for it put the money on the table and 
advice. This is impossible. And I just know it was impossible or nearly impossible 10 years before this day. And I am sure it won't be more possible in the next 10 years, for example. So after all, let's start to watch this piece. Here we got the well-known Rolex stamp. Here is the bucklet. One thing is, well, maybe I should mask the serial number, but I don't really care. So one thing is uh, changed is this holder, because the older versions has uh, parts here. <laughs> yes, to mask the serial number, and you see the watch is from 2020, July of seven. So really new piece. All the other thing is nearly the same, and no name and no purchase location. This is it. Paying for the grey market, if you ask me. And now, let's remove that bezel protection. Because that is really a fun part. So if you ask me, all about this authorized dealer, second hand market, grey market shit, this piece is beautiful. I have seen a video on YouTube from Watchfinder who is talking about why this watch is not perfect. <laughs> Fuck it, this watch is perfect. This is the Daytona, the Panda Dial. With virtually scratch resistant black ceramic piece amazingly done you should see this watch in flash in real life ultra beautiful and yeah we can talk about this is a two watch why they polish the middle links and the case who the fuck is care no this is not the two watch those times are gone this is a luxury piece, piece, a legendary piece. But you cannot buy on retail from an A-Trace dealer. Yeah. So, this is perfect for me. Stainless steel, but not too heavy. Great markers. Informations, if you don't know, the paintings on the unit per hour, so the text and the numbers on the bezel are made of uh, platinum and the hands and the indexes and the crown made of white gold this is great if you ask me and i like how they change because of course there was stainless steel old panda stainless steel daytona models before the ceramic basil arrived but that is cool they changed the color of the sub dials so the chronograph dials because that is the running second that is the 30 second collector or sub dial of the uh, chronograph and the central hand second hand is the chronograph second hand and there is a 12 hour so the uh, sub dial for the chronograph uh, measuring because this is the better scroll around, by the way. So this is how it looks like and works. This is the maybe glide look. We have got these kind of quick length system of the bracelet. The case back is very, <laughs> very clear. There is nothing on it, literally. You know why? Do you remember Paul Newman data now? So this watch is exactly was born to 
give it as a present and engrave the case back and make it even more remember than it is on its own right. This is how it looks on my wrist. The watch is 40 mm wide, but uh, it feels and looks smaller than, for example, a Submariner, even the 40 mm Submariner, because the case is much more, um, how can I say, elegant or slimmer. So this is a really, really, really mother of uh, sporty, elegant watches, if you ask me. Absolute cool and beautiful and you know I've got a 21 centimeter wrist so not a small wrist but I guess even on my wrist it looks perfect and and very very great the older versions with the stainless steel bezel looked a little bit small for example on my big wrist but the black ceramic bezel gives that effect if the watch looked looks a bit bigger than the older stainless steel versions Okay, about the movement and the working, 20, uh, sorry, 70 hours of power reserve and in-house movement, of course, we all know about the uh, Zenit movements, the Air Premier movements, were uh, the date on us, but those times are gone and it has gotten perfect Rolex in-house movement. And you see the crown is screwed in crown, watch is 100 meter water resistant, of course this is a Rolex, oyster case. And uh, someone are complaining about the pushers because of the screwed in pushers, uh, but that's not true, the, the pushers are not screwed in. Uh, the screwed element on the pusher is uh, some kind of safeguard. So the watch is water resistant even if these guards, safeguards are screwed out because this is not because of the water resistant protection but these are there because if they are screwed in you cannot accidentally push the buttons for example underwater so this is just because of that but I guess if you are in a jacuzzi or, or a not big so if you're not diving just in the water uh, that's okay if you cannot if you're not uh, screwed that in and they have uh, must upgrade the movement because the operating it is uh, really smoother this is it not just smooth like the rolex unico big bang uh, flyback movement with the uh, double clutch system, vertical clutch system, you know, but uh, this movement must have some some clutch system I guess because it's working very easy and smooth and uh, working much easier than the older versions and this is not flyback so don't uh, try to restart the chronograph with the reset button because before that you should stop the chronograph with the start stop button and then you can reset it and that's all and screw it back because that is true it looks better if it is screwed in I agree on that so this is it thank you for watching and see you later